When Air Force One touched down on Kenyan soil, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Nairobi. The power of the world's most influential man reverberated. Two women stole the show, but one ran away with it. A Kenyan who rode in this monster of a machine, 55-year-old Dr. Auma Obama, the sister to American President Barack Obama. Fast Rewind, 1987, location Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The runway may look a bit different now, the buildings now modern and even the technology. Dr. Aume Obama, born in 1960, was waiting for her brother who was born a year and a half later on the 4th of August 1961. They were born oceans apart, according to Obama's autobiography, Dreams from My Father, Continents Away, Countries Apart, Hawaii and Kenya. But they had one thing in common, a father, the late Barack Obama Sr. So on that day, 28 years ago, Auma picked this man in her old baby blue Volkswagen Beetle. On the 24th of July 2015, it was Obama's turn to pick his sister. A sister who was a bridesmaid during his wedding. A sister who made the initiative to look for her brother. If it was not for Dr. Auma Obama, Kenya may have never known Barack Obama. She's the one who prompted young Obama to visit Kenya and meet five other siblings. They met for the first time in 1984 when Auma was studying in Germany. In his book, President Obama describes vividly how they would always embrace each other every time they met, except from the audiobook courtesy of YouTube, describing the many calls and letters before they met. Something unexpected happened. Auma called. I heard her voice for the first time. It was soft and dark, tinged with a colonial accent. For a few moments I couldn't understand the words, only the sound, a sound that seemed to have always been there, misplaced but not forgotten. She was coming to the States, she said, on a trip with several friends. Could she come to see me in New York? Of course, I said. You can stay with me. I can't wait. And she laughed, and I laughed. Auma, who is a mother of one, runs the Saudi Co Foundation, an organization which creates sustainable structures for children. She worked for many years at Care Kenya. And then... Life Happens goes the title of the book she has written. She describes her relationship with her brother Barack vividly. Judy Kuzge, Citizen TV.